Hey, Henry here from IELTS LATAM, and today I'd like to share with you a top strategy to help you, your friends, your family, your husband, your wife, your partner, your neighbor, your dog, practice and improve your English speaking. And I call this method the timer method. Now, as with many of the tips and strategies that I know, I actually learned this from a student. So many years ago, I was teaching an intermediate level course, and there was one girl in the class who had really, really good speaking skills. Her English wasn't perfect, but she was very fluent for the level. And we all asked her, uh, Mariana, how is your speaking so good? And she said, well, I practice every day or every other day with my cousins. And so we said, oh, so your cousins live in the United States or they studied in like a bilingual school? And she said, no, they're, they're Colombian like me. They live in Cali. We see each other every now and again. We call each other all the time and we practice our English together. And we all said, wow, that's really impressive. It's hard to be really disciplined when you're practicing with somebody who speaks the same language, especially someone you're close to and you know very well. And she said, well, we have a system. So what they do is this they use a timer. So it could be a timer on their phone, I imagine on their phone. And they say, okay, chicas, vamos a hablar inglés durante dos minutos. And they put a timer on for two minutes and they speak English and they carry on practicing and they say everything in English. And then the timer goes off, they stop, they have a little break and maybe speak a bit of Spanish and they say, okay, okay, de nuevo. Lo vamos a hacer de nuevo, vamos a poner el temporizador Esta vez durante cinco minutos. Cinco. And they do it again. And this time they speak for five minutes and they practice. They only speak English. And then the alarm goes off and they say, ah, okay. Tenemos un descanso. They speak Spanish for a bit. Then they say, ahora vamos a hablar durante diez minutos. They put the timer on again and they practice. They speak English and they're very disciplined. They only speak English. Then the timer goes off. They have a break and then they say, we're going to put the timer on for 20 minutes, etc. I also know one variation of this. If you go for dinner or a coffee or a drink with a friend, you can put a timer on your phone and you say, right, we're just going to speak English for the next five minutes. Or maybe we're going to speak English uh, until we finish our drinks. Whoever speaks Spanish has to pay. Okay, so the penalty is if you break the rule and you speak Spanish instead of English, you've got to pay for the beer, you've got to pay for the coffee. Okay, I've actually done this with friends as well, and it is a fun and effective way to instill some discipline into the game, in making sure that you practice your English. So I know lots of people that have done this. They could be housemates, or they could be family members, or they could be partners who they both want to practice their English, but it's really difficult. It's hard to stay disciplined and hard to just speak English and not switch back to Spanish or whatever your native language is. So this is a really, really nice and fun and easy technique so that you can focus on speaking English and you can make it kind of structured as well. If you get into a habit, you can set a time of the day when you do it. So you could say lunch times, all right? Lunch times, we're gonna do this system two minutes of English, five minutes of English, 10 minutes of English, half an hour of English, etc. It's a very, very effective way to practice your skills and build your fluency. So guys, let me know in the comments if you already do something similar to this or try it out, then let me know how it goes. I promise you it's a very effective technique. And if you'd like any other tips or suggestions for how you can continue improving your speaking skills, or more importantly, how you can pass the IELTS exam and live and study in the country of your dreams, follow me on all the social media, send me a message, let me know how I can help, and I'll see you in the next one.